I know for a fact that the copy-paste function helped us all out in school. Now we're just extending that to Fortnite. Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple useful copy and pasting tips and tricks that will help you uh, build maps quicker, help you build better maps, and just increase your creative knowledge overall. Let's get into it. Now, if you didn't already know, there are two options when it comes to copying and pasting. There's the copy button, which will in fact make a copy of whatever item you want, and there's the cut button, which will give you access to that item and remove the original item. Now, as you can see when I hold up my phone, I have that select option over there, which means if I select multiple things, the exact same will occur. If I cut, it will take the original copies, and if I copy, it will create a duplicate. Now, this in and of itself is useful, but let me show you a way you can use it even better. See, one of the useful things that I have discovered over my year of map making or so is that when you copy a prop um, obviously that prop has the option to grid snap as you can see right there you can choose whatever grid snap you want it to be on however as long as building to prop is turned off on your phone if you copy something like a floor or a wall it doesn't have a grid snap what this means is that let's say you're copying a room because you have another version of the room or you're doing a jump scare in your map. What you can do is if you select a snappable object with a non-snappable object, so for example, this couch and this floor, this couch will no longer have the option of being grid snapped. As you can see, when I copy the floor, it's going to follow wherever the floor is. So what this means is that you don't have to build your room separately again and place all the props in it. You could just highlight the entire room and place the new version of your room like so. As you can see, once I select the entire building and all of its contents, you can see it says 63 out of 100 items selected. If I just go ahead and copy this, it will allow me to place the building wherever I feel like placing it, um, and it will have all the contents and all the props inside of it that were inside of it originally, so long as you selected them. Also, another thing to note, even if you have building the prop turned on when you place a wall, but you go to turn it off, this will also still work. So it, it applies to everything. As long as as the thing you're placing cannot be grid snapped, you'll be all good. Next thing I want to talk about is this little bar down here. This thing is extremely useful because when you hold L2, it gives you an option of eight different buttons you can press to put a prop in there. What I mean by this is, let's say I specifically want this tipped over bottle in my hotbar. So what I can do is I can hold L2, press circle, and it will throw this bottle into my hotbar, as you can see right there. Again, if I hold L2, press circle, which is the button I use to select it into my hotbar, it will give me this bottle in the exact position that it was in the house. As you can see, here it is laid over, and in the house it was laid over. Now, of course, there's going to be some people that already knew about this, but what you might not have known is that this is not limited to one prop. What you can do is actually select an entire plethora of props. As you can see, I've selected the entire house again, and if I hold L2, just anywhere on the green highlighted part, and I go ahead, let's say I pick triangle to put this in, my, in, the, in the triangle slot, as you can see, it puts the entire house and all of its contents into that slot. So as long as you have an area of your map where it is under 100 items, you can put that theoretically in your eight different slots and have 800 props to your disposal just in the hotbar of your phone. As you can see, I have stopped selecting this entire house, but if I pull out my phone, hold L2 and hit that triangle button, which is the button I put it under, as you can see, it brings out the entire house. And if I turn building to prop on and I do the same thing, it will, you know, take it so I can build it and rotate it in whatever awkward fashion I want to rotate it in. Now, as cool as this is, check this next part out. Now, I'm over here on a random island. I have no idea what's going on here, but as you can see, there's no there's no sign of me copying, pasting anything into this island. But if you look, when I pull out my phone and I hold L2, all of the things from the previous island are carried over to this island, which means if you're copying something, put it in your hotbar. So long as you're in the same creative session, it will keep it in that hotbar. Now, why is this useful? Well, the reason this trick is so useful is let's say, for example, my siren head map. Let's say you build a super complicated creature or super complex room, whatever it is that might be in that map. You can take that creature when you make your part two to that map and have it in your hotbar so you don't have to rebuild the entire creature if you're having a flashback in one of your maps and let's say the flashback involves th this house as you can see it kind of builds it into this world but once it gets done building it you can have it and it's it's free to your access if you have a flashback of your old map you can literally have that house in this island and it will be no different it's exactly the same as the house was in my other island well I, I placed it 
I place it in the snow. But it is the exact same copy. So long as you copy it, put it in your hotbar, and it is still in that creative... T this the same creative session. As you can see, it says 3 hours and 35 minutes over there. It's the same creative session. It will stay in your hotbar. and is one of the most useful tricks for um, like sequels to maps and prequels to maps and just... Any map where you build something super complicated you want to carry over into the next map. I use this a lot for my TV design. I always come into this map and grab it. Um, if I want to, if I had like a really cool plant design, I'll go back into the other map where I, where I built it. And I'll go and put it in the previous map. It is just extremely useful for sequels, prequels, anything where you have to use something from an old map. Anyway guys, those are some useful tips and tricks with the copy and pasting function in Fortnite Creative. I know this video was super specific, but I hope this video helps you out. And uh, yeah, this has been Syntax. Later.